I mean, yeah, I got up, um, you know, hit, my head hit the ground pretty hard, and um, it hurt for, like, a few seconds, but, I mean, I knew I didn't have a concussion or anything, so I ran the next play, um, and then they blew the whistle before we started the play after that, and um, said I had to go out for a play, so um, yeah, I just did what the refs told me and went out and got checked up by the uh, medical crew. I mean, at this point, it's just like, uh, y'all see it, it's like, I just don't understand if, you know. I got to come out two plays after play for a, a potential head injury on a play that I slid on. So it's like, at what point, you know, I don't even know how to answer it because I don't want to get, you know, fined in any kind of way. But I mean, like I said, like the fact that I had to come out, you know, two plays later for a potential head injury on a play that I slid on should, you know, speak for itself. Yeah, I mean, they just asked me, do I know where I am? Uh, stuff like that. I just do a few balance tests and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, of course, I was trying to speed up the process a little bit but um yeah after they you know clear me and say that i'm good then i just ran it back out on the field so yeah i mean i i felt it pretty good of course you know um when you don't have you know the starters out there of course there's going to be minor a minor uh difference with the uh, o-line just their communication and you know their chemistry up front but uh you know we have a mentality next guys up and uh you know we've been through that all year so uh really shouldn't have been anything different i felt like uh their d-line did a good job um, you know, getting pressure on me and getting to the backfield pretty well. So um, that's off to them. Yeah, I mean, I just scrambled and um, I thought 37 fell down and he got up faster than I expected him to, to be honest. So, um, you know, I thought it was Cole's going to be wide open in the end zone like you did uh, for the touchdown. And he got up, made a play on the ball. Of course, it was a lot of ups and downs. But, uh, you know, I grew a lot, learned a lot this year. And, you know, I think it's going to do nothing but help me in the future. What's your question? I just go home, go home, hang out with my family, um, you know, get get my body right, start training, and uh, get ready for next season. I mean, the thing is, we, we had the same, you know, topics and stuff last year, so it's not like we didn't have the number one pick last year. So, I mean, it's, it's going to be the same thing. Um, like I said, I control what I can control, and, um, you know, I'm going to get healthy this offseason, uh, spend time with my family. And um, get better. So, like I said, we went through the same thing last year. We had the number one pick. Everybody was asking, "What if? What if? What if?" And um, nothing happened. So, um, yeah, I'm not saying that nothing might happen because shoot, we all don't know. But um, I'm not gonna let the potential or what if, what if not, you know, stress me from you know enjoying life and going through uh, my everyday life. Um, it would mean a lot, you know. Um, you know, uh, I have a pretty good relationship with Ryan and. You know, the guys upstairs, but you know, at the end of the day, this is a business, so um, you know they have to make the tough decisions. And you know, my job is just to go out there and play my best. But um, you know, it would mean a lot just to you know, get that confirmation from them, and um, just really send a message that they trust me to um, you know lead this team and you know, be the quarterback for the Bears. So, you know, I think I'm headed um, up. You know, um, and I felt growth this year, um, each and every game. I've been feeling it really since you know I've gotten back from injury. So um, you know, I, I think I you know gotten better tremendously you know, when I came back from injury and um, I'm only getting better so yeah. I mean yeah it's, it's two sides of it because you got to know what he's thinking and of course he has to know what I'm thinking so um, I think that's the conversation you got to sit down and have you got to sit down watch all the games together go over what we could have done better um, you know if we could go back what we what we have changed would we have you know changed the play calls would I have made different decisions on certain plays so I think you really have to sit down, uh, go over film together, and you know, really talk it out to have those conversations. So I think that's more of a, you know, um, me and him kind of conversation. Um, I mean, not not really. Uh, you know, I think you know, with our relationship uh, with Flus and Ryan, you know, any player on this team can go upstairs and uh, have a sit down conversation with them. Like I said, um, he has a great relationship with you know all the players and. Um, it's not like he's just sitting up there and you know not talking. He's out at practice most of the time. He's been walking through too. So um, there's nothing really that I just you know, am eager to get off my chest, so to say. Yes, but where's your belief in Luke's strongest? Where's his belief? Where's, yeah, where's, 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 where's the best case that you can make for him and you for, for him to be your coordinator next year? Um, you know, I just think his work work ethic. You know, um, like I said earlier this year, I think. You know, we improved as a team. We learned how to win, and I think the coaches also improved. So, um, you know, it's a hand in hand. Nobody's perfect, and I've been saying that for I don't know how long. Nobody's perfect. Uh, we've all gotten better, and you know, he's good at adjusting. And if I talk to him, if the players talk to him, then you know, he's going to listen to what we have to say, and uh, we're going to do what's best for collectively for the team. So, um, I mean, yeah, um, you know, that's one thing about Luke. He's 
an open book. He's an open mind, and you can talk to him and sit him down and have a com conversation with him. And he'll listen, and you know he'll really take it to heart. And I know you say nothing's guaranteed, Justin, but do you feel confident you've done enough that you will be back with the Bears franchise? Uh, I mean, I'm not sure. Um, like I said, that decision is not in my hands. Um, you know, all I can control is you know what I did do, and um, I gave it my all. So um, whether it's here or not, you know, uh, I have no regrets. Um, shout out to you know you guys for. You know, making my job a little bit harder. But, um, yeah, uh, just to the city of Chicago, love y'all. Appreciate the fans and the support from all the Bears, you know, in case this is my last rodeo with y'all. And just appreciate y'all for everything. So, yeah.